We are learning more about the corrections officer that was killed by an inmate on Sunday. Alan Hirschberger was working at a private prison in Holdenville at the time of the attack. Our Barry Mangold joins us now with how friends remember him and details from DOC, Barry. Yeah, Colby, Amanda, the State Department of Corrections says the officer was attacked by an armed inmate while they were moving prisoners. A former co-worker of the victim says he was never one to start trouble with inmates. I'm still trying to put my head around this. And William Rogers of Kansas remembers the moment he learned that Alan Hirschberger, a friend and former co-worker, died while on the job. He was 61. There's that moment where you, you, you can't really speak. It's just gut-wrenching. There's there's really no way to explain it until you've, you've worked with people and you've been in this field and you yourself have seen the uh, horrific things that can't happen. Hirschberger hailed from Kansas and in January moved to Holdenville to work at the Davis Correctional Facility, a private prison that's contracted by the state. According to the Oklahoma Department of Corrections, two-time convicted killer Gregory Thompson attacked Hirschberger from behind using a homemade weapon. He wasn't the kind of officer that would have done anything to provoke an inmate to this. Sometimes as an officer, you're in there just doing your job and, and an inmate, for whatever reason, uh, lashes out. <laughs> The company behind the prison, Core Civic, said in a statement that Hirschberger was a veteran of the U.S. Navy, Army National Guard, and Army Reserves. Rogers says he will remember Hirschberger as a public servant who did a job that many didn't want to do. What I ask is that uh, you don't look at him as just a contract employee and you look at him as an officer. The Oklahoma DOC says it is still investigating Sunday's attack. When they're done, they will pass the results along to the Hughes County District Attorney. Barry Mangold, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.